Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech. We're going to be installing Dave McKean's solid state fan fail relay. And I wanted to do this because he also in includes a bypass wire for the cooling fan circuit breaker. Since Dave's relay has two integrated fuses, the circuit breaker is redundant and it could cause a problem if it ever failed. So, we've got the relay bank open here and the fan fail socket and the fan relay socket are actually wired together and they're connected um, via the circuit breaker that is right here and today we're going to eliminate this circuit breaker from the wiring To do that, we need to remove the orange-black terminal from the socket, like that, and then the <clears throat> brown-orange socket from the fan relay. You can then bridge the two relay sockets together with this wire. And now these two sockets are bridged. The circuit breaker is now unconnected. Uh, we're going to put some heat shrink tubing on those connectors just so they don't touch anything. Now, uh, now the relays can be put back in. Okay, so now we're going to heat shrink the connectors off just to seal those off. Okay, we've got the old terminals covered with heat shrink so that now there's no problem with anything there. We have to reattach the mounting screws and then we'll insert the relays. Where's that brown one? Brown. So here we are, we are putting in the relays for the fan and the fan fail. Yeah, you mean the ones that are and there they are. <laughs> so we are going to jumper the Otterstat to conduct the test of the fan fail module. Okay, so we are testing the fan fail module and the fans are running right now. Okay, so now we are going to test the fan fail light. So we've removed one of the fuses from the fan fail relay and we've got the Otterstat jumpered. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car up. It's blinking. So he's got Cooling fan fail lights working. So now we have both of the fuses out and we're gonna go ahead and test it. So it yeah. should blink twice if both fans are not working and it's doing that. So now we have both fuses back in, the fans are running, the fan fail light is not turning on. And there's the two fuses. 